Hey guys, so this is my first video for my pre-medical vlog. Um, I'm going to start by talking about um, my first semester freshman year. This might be in two parts depending on how long I talk, but we'll see. Um, so I made a bunch of little notes about what my freshman first semester was like. And um, first I'm going to talk about the classes I took and then I'm going to talk about just like student life. So first of all, I took um, five classes my freshman year, technically six because our chem and chem lab chem lecture chem lab was split but it's pretty much the same class um i took biology which um our school has you take like the ecology and genetics sections first like you know like population genetics and um just like things like that that class comes first and then they have you take the, the part where it's like this is a cell and these are the organelles and stuff like that so um that might be backwards from some schools but I didn't actually even take that molecular part with the cell and stuff because I took AP Bio in high school and I got out of it. So um, I took that, so I took the Ecology and Genetics Bio. I took um, General Chemistry 1, which is just, you know, these are atoms and it begins thermodynamics and stuff like that. Um, I took Calculus 2 because I also took um, AP Calc in high school, so I skipped right over to Calculus 2. and. Then I took my freshman seminar, and I was in um, a program for my first years of college, and I had a class that went along with that. So that's not something that every school will have. So um, I was taking 15 credits, and I mean, I'm just going to be honest, I didn't find it hard. My first semester of freshman year was pretty much a breeze. Um, I got a 4.0. I don't have a 4.0 now. I'm not, like, super smart. But... Um, it, I remember thinking after my freshman year, wow, maybe being pre-med won't be as difficult as I thought. But don't think that because you can make it as fun as you want to, you can make it as difficult as you want to, but if you just like learn how to balance your time and do what you love while still doing what you need what you need to do, being pre-med can just can be almost <laughs> like being any other major. Um, I am a biology major. You don't have to be a biology major to go to medical school. You can be any major you want as long as you take the required courses. Um, some medical schools will require other things, but the main thing that every medical school requires is a year of biology, a year of um, general chemistry, a year of organic chemistry, and a year of physics. I have all three years, I have all of them done except for my year of physics. That will be this coming year. So, um, so those, those are my first semester classes, or my first semester freshman year. Those are my classes. Um, I didn't find them, like, super hard. They're introductory, they're all introductory courses, at least in my school. So um, if you took chemistry in high school, your first semester of chemistry shouldn't be too difficult. Um, unless you placed into like a higher level or something based on AP. I didn't take AP chemistry. So oh, I found a lot of what was in my chemistry one class my freshman year was a repeat of what I had learned sophomore year in high school. And honestly, I didn't have a good teacher my sophomore year in high school. Like I was so scared of chemistry going into college. I was like, I didn't learn anything in, fresh in sophomore chemistry and I'm just gonna like fail this course. I didn't find that to be the case. Um, and another tip I would have based on classes is um, if you if you if your school has something that like will like rate teachers or you can see like how students do with a particular teacher, um, use it because I didn't learn about that until like my I guess going into my sophomore year of college. Like, I knew about it going into my second semester freshman year, but I didn't really have the, um, like, space to utilize it. Like, I didn't really have that many options in my classes, so, like, I couldn't really use it. But um, now I, like, live off those reviews because you have to know what your style of learning is and what you prefer. Um, so, like, I... So like there was like a teacher, there's a chemistry teacher in our school who is really, really hard, but ev but everyone who has taken her 
loves her but I avoided her at all costs just because I'm not a chemistry person I know that like I don't want like an in-depth knowledge of chemistry I just want enough to get me through the MCAT and that's what my, the, my other courses my other teachers did through those courses so like um, I knew going into that that I just like didn't want to struggle with chemistry I mean I knew I was gonna struggle enough without taking a super hard teacher so um, I luckily didn't get her my first semester freshman year so I didn't have to like struggle and experience that but like you pro like some of you will probably get come across some really hard teachers and like I already have like in my last two years there have been some teachers who just have not worked with my learning personality or like there's just like or there's those really boring teachers that you just can't learn from and it's really hard to deal with but that's where your study skills and your time management come in um I'm gonna talk a lot more about time management this comment like in future vlogs but like what I remember most from um freshman year was that if I could learn it on my own I kind of did um because for instance this is actually the only class that this falls into I went to most of my classes I didn't skip very many classes except for biology um the way most of our classes work at my school is we have three tests and a final throughout the semester so um after our first test in biology I realized that there wasn't really a point in going to her class like I still went sometimes but for the most part I kind of skipped to be honest because um, she would put the lecture outlines online and then in class she would always be like well you have to come to class because I'm gonna give you more information but she never really did I found myself sitting there and just staring at her while she read off the outlines so I just stopped going to class and I still got an A in the course and um, it just wasn't necessary for me to go to her but I, I don't so like you have to really learn about what your teachers do and um, it's really important that you go to class unless you figure out that not going to class can work for you like you have to be really careful about it because ever since that class there have been very few classes that I've skipped multiple multiple times on a regular basis like I actually don't know if there has been a class that I skipped like bio my freshman year so again be wary of skipping um, so I guess that's really it like most schools do have a freshman seminar but that's not really related to pre-med at all um, what I would say just based on grades in general in my remaining time is that you're not likely to maintain a 4.0 if you maintain a 4.0 your whole college career good for you like you're amazing but like you're not likely to so don't freak out about getting a B somewhere um, I would say get as many A's as you can it's okay if you get a few B's and try to avoid C's at all costs um, and for freshman year like have fun but you have to focus on your classes for pre-med like they say like that like you can um, mess up your first semester freshman year and still be fine and that's true but you really want to try to avoid it at all costs be extremely wary of your grades and your study habits and don't waste too much time doing other things when you need to be doing it you have to know that if you want to go to medical school this is what you have to do so I'm gonna run out of time that will kind of be addressed again in my social life aspect of it but that's for the classes um, if you have any questions feel free to message me or comment below and um, thank you all for watching, okay? Bye.